All right, before we go over this, I just wanted to say this is a pretty important little discussion about the phrase in Christ. Why is it so important? I've had several arguments with the free will chick and other pretend believers who don't believe in God. They don't rely on God. They don't trust God. They trust in their own free will, their own free choice. They trust in their belief. They trust in their trust. And so they make a mess of this phrase in Christ, okay? The phrase in Christ that we're discussing at the moment shows up in 1 Corinthians 15, 22, and also in Ephesians 1, 10. <clears throat> and so Paul has it, and the truth about the matter is, God saves all. How does he do it? He saves them in Christ. But the, uh, the free will chick and all of her friends, they don't say that God saves all in Christ. They say that God saves all in Christ. So you have to be in Christ in order to be saved. Whereas the language of Paul is that God saves you. How does he do it? Through the instrument of being in Christ. God saves all. How does he do it? In Christ. Instead of God saves all in Christ and only those in Christ. All right, so let's go over this, even though I've just tried to summarize the whole thing. <clears throat> so this one is called a little grammar lesson for the body of Christ. In Christ can be the locative case or the instrumental case. 1 Corinthians 15, 22 and Ephesians 1, 10. The in Christ or in him is the instrumental case. And you can tell this. And you can tell this way. When a person or all people are in view, it is the instrumental case. When salvation is the main subject of the sentence, the case is locative. Thus, how, was, how does God save Fred? He saves Fred in Christ, the instrumental case. So how does God save the entire human race? He saves them in Christ, the instrumental case. However, when the subject of the sentence shifts, who does God save? The who becomes the subject of the sentence rather than the how. Then the answer is he saves those in Christ, the locative case. If you force the case to be locative when it was meant to be instrumental, you not only destroy the meaning of the sentence, you also limit God and the object of his love, the objects of his love, that is sinners. 1 Corinthians 15.22, part 1. For even as in Adam all die. So, here we see in Adam is the instrumental case, not the locative case. The subject is all. The question is how do they come to die? The answer is the instrument of Adam. All are in Adam as a matter of course, not a matter of choice, as a matter of course. No one has anything to do, no one has anything special, has to do anything special to be in Adam. You don't have to believe in Adam to be in Adam. You don't have to obey Adam to be in Adam. You don't have to dress like Adam to be in Adam. You're just in Adam. The phrase in Adam is the instrumental case in this verse. If in Adam were the locative case, it would exclude some human beings, making those who die a special class. Some would be in Adam and some would not be in Adam. Part two of 1 Corinthians 15, 22. So also in Christ shall all be made alive. Here we see the instrumental case in the phrase in Christ, not the locative case, the, in, the subject is all. The question is, how do they come to be made alive? The answer is the instrument of Christ. All are assumed to be in Christ just as much as all are assumed to be in Adam. In this context, no one has to do anything special to be in Christ. The subject is not how do they come to be in Christ. The subject is that all will be made alive and thus in Christ. Not in the instrumental 
I mean, it's in the instrumental case, but not the locative case. You may find the locative case in other passages of scriptures regarding those in Christ, but you cannot force the locative case here in 1 Corinthians 15, 22. It clearly says, all die and all will be made alive. The instrument of these great events are Adam and Christ. For the free willers who cannot handle this verse as it stands and must change in Christ all shall live to all in Christ shall live, then you must give the same treatment to those who die. They all die in the instrument of Adam. You must say, all in Adam will die. Ah, but that would expose your ruse for all do die. The question is, how? The answer is they are in Adam, like it or not. All are in Christ, like it or not. Okay, let's look at the second little article I wrote on this thing and see what we can find. Okay, locative versus instrumental. The free will chick tried to deceive me yet once again. This time she was twisting the little word in to be something it was not. What's it all about? It's about the idea that God will head up all in the Christ. Here's the deal about the word in. The word can be in the locative case or it can be in the instrumental case. Why this matters. The free will chick wants you to believe only those in Christ will be headed up in Christ. And of course, she has this magic formula of how to get yourself in Christ. You got to believe, receive, obey, etc. She says the magic formula has is something that you do, not God. However, let me interject here. God is the Savior. We rely on the living God who is the Savior. We don't rely on the magic formula. Okay. The verse in question here is Ephesians 1, 9 and 10. Verse 9. Making known to us the secret of his will. It's a, it was a secret at one time. In accord with his delight, which he purposed in him to have an administration, the complement of the eras, to head up all in the Christ, both that in the heavens and that on the earth. So, in this verse 10, Christ is the instrument by which all are headed up. The free will chick feels that some other instrument, like human free will, achieves this goal. So, she teaches that you must put yourself in Christ. And thus, all in Christ will be headed up. The truth is, this is God's work. It is up to God to use Christ's work on the cross to head up all in the Christ. All is the subject. In Christ is the instrument by which they will be headed up. All will be headed up. Who are gathered? All. How are they gathered? In Christ. She does damage to the sentence structure by insisting on this. Who is gathered? All in Christ. No, it's in Christ is how they are all gathered. The in is instrumental, not locative. She twists, but she doesn't fool me. I, listen, um, we're arguing over little hashtags here, and but I think it's important. Because we want to believe God. 1 Timothy 4.10 says we rely on the living God. But if you switch this, uh, this, this in business around to make it, uh, you know, the location of, of all who are saved is in Christ. You must be in Christ before you will be saved. Then you're essentially following going down the road with the free will chick and you're changing the savior from being god into the savior is your own free will your own powerful ability to jump inside christ and god is not going to save you unless you're in christ no god saves you and how he does it is in christ he puts all in christ god saves all how he puts them in Christ. This thing of being in Christ is much bigger than the free will chick wants you to buy, believe. She wants to be able to control the in Christ. She's like the ticket keeper, the, the gatekeeper, you know, checking your, your ticket as you enter the gate to see whether or not you're in Christ. Salvation is the work of God. God is the Savior of all. Not just believers, but especially of believers. 
So thanks for spending some time with me. Like and share this, leave a comment, question, ponderance, whatever. Tell me what the weather's like there. And uh, happy Monday.